Hi, we're gonna prepare macaroni al forno with baby spinach and bechamel on the top, flavored with a cheese, fresh white cheese made of wheat. Let's see the ingredients. We have baton pasta, we have beef, 36% fat, diced carrot, spices for the meat, we have oregano, one half spoon, one spoon salt, one spoon black pepper, and we got two onzes, chopped garlic, fresh tomato just to add flavor, and three pound of baby spinach. For the bechamel, we have six cup of milk, we have equal amount of flour and butter, we have three onz of butter, five onz of flour, and I will add two onz of oil, we have white pepper and nutmeg, one spoon each. And to flavor the special, I'm gonna add the fresh cheese, which is in Greek anari, and this is made of wheat, it's a fresh cheese, semi-hard. And here we'll start with the onion, I put it in medium heat, over there I have boiling water with salt. I'm gonna add my baton pasta. I'm gonna add my carrot. I'm gonna add my meat. I'm gonna heat it up, then add the meat. A bit of oil, just, just a touch. Add my meat. I wanna brown all of it. I'm gonna brown all the meat. So I have to keep turning it on all sides to get the color I wanted. Prefer to add my spices, right on the raw meat. When it's stuck like that, it's time to add my tomato. I have the tomato, small dice, just to add flavor. This recipe doesn't have a lot of sauce, so just to add more flavor, I put the tomato. I'm gonna combine them now. Yeah, some water in here. All the now we have enough water in here. I can combine them, mix it up, lower the heat, and let it simmer. We can stay the red sweet pepper with little oil just to flavor our bechamel then we'll see how we use it it's really neat we need some more salt this is good I'm gonna add one more magic cube just to add more flavor to it one more spoon of oregano here I still have the pasta I'm gonna add I'm gonna fresh three pieces one two of bay leaf they done their work Divide it in two serving plates. Each plate is enough to serve 15 people. Around with that, I'm gonna mix my spinach. Basically, I just need to mix all these ingredients and put them in serving plate. The spinach gets wilted already, and then when they go to the oven, they get cooked. So we don't need to cook it twice. Let's start our bechamel. We'll add the butter, let it melt. We'll add a little bit of oil. I'm gonna add my spices. I have my pimentos in a small blender. The red peppers, sweet red peppers, which we sauteed before in a small blender. So I'm gonna add two cups of milk for that. I'll start adding my flour. Lowering the heat. Low heat. If it needs more flour, don't be shy, just add more flour. I'm gonna cook for a little, then I start adding my milk. I know how many glasses of milk, it's six cups. Gradually. This is our milk mixed with the red pepper. I'm gonna add the dried iron. We're gonna add the fresh white cheese. Just to make sure the cheese is already mixed, we blend it with some milk, then we mix it in here. This is the, so it's 80 glasses of milk. It depends how thick we need our sauce. Just because it, just because we want to put it in the oven, we're gonna add some more milk. Then it's solidate in the oven along with the along with the pasta. We just want to simmer it a little bit. Then we add it right in the pasta. 
We need to taste it. Remember our two spoon here. Very nice. We need some salt. I just added like one, one spoon of salt. Our bechamel is ready. We got to scoop it over the blades. We have two blades here. Level it. We'll put it in the oven. Then we put it under the broiler. This is the macaroni al forno. It's already baked. It's awfully hot. The best for this is to give it some time to rest. To settle down. Then we can grab. It's al dente. You can taste the cheese flavor. The red pepper. But you can see it which is awesome. It's well done. I hope you try it. The only difference between the original traditional macaroni al forno and Cyprus that one have no spinach, no pimentos, only the cheese, anari and the minced beef with the baton pasta. This one I try to add more fiber into it. I bought the baby spinach and I give different dimension to the bechamel as you see. Thank you for watching. Shifasak. Thank you. Bye bye.